My name is Aaron Polanski. I'm the Superintendent Director for Old Colony Regional Vocational Technical High School in Rochester, Massachusetts. I'd like to share a story that I recently heard at the Massachusetts Summer Institute for Superintendents as told by our Commissioner of Education, Jeff Riley. There was a professor who instead of uh, giving a final exam to his college students told them that they would have one hour to answer a single question. As the hundreds of students entered the lecture hall, each was handed a composition notebook and told to find their place within the lecture hall, at which time they were all given 60 minutes to complete the one question. After 30 minutes, the professor announced to the students that they had 30 minutes remaining. At the 45 minute point, the professor announced to the students they had 15 minutes remaining. And at the 50 minute point, he announced to the students that they had 10 minutes remaining. At which point the students began to pile their composition notebooks on the desk of the professor at the base of the lecture hall. When there were three minutes remaining, the professor made an announcement to the 10 students remaining in the lecture hall with the large stack of composition notebooks in front of him. The students came to the front of the lecture hall and one by one turned in their composition notebooks. With one minute remaining, the professor announced to the two students in the class that they had the one minute remaining, at, what, at which point one of the two students brought his composition notebook to the front of the lecture hall. When time expired, a student sat in the back of the lecture hall and remained quietly as he wrote in his composition notebook. The professor said to the student, are you done? Time's expired and the student continued to write. At the 10 minute mark, the student walked to the bottom of the lecture hall and said to the professor, I'm sorry I went over time by 10 minutes, but I've completed my answer to the question. To which the professor responded, you know I should fail you. The student replied, do you know my name? And the professor said, no I don't. At which point the student took his composition notebook and stuck it right in the pile, in the middle of the pile of the remaining composition notebooks and walked out of the lecture hall. The moral of the story was, A, he already failed the student because he didn't know his name and B, he couldn't fail the student because he didn't know his name. Connections really at the foundation of everything we do with our students, with our staff, with our administrative teams, with the parents that we're involved with in education. And really, it's not a response that solves a problem, but rather a connection. And so I would certainly urge all of our educators to put people first and focus on Maslow's before they ever get to Bloom's. It will certainly be a great foundation for the rest of what we do. Thank you so much.